So this is a 1942 RCA Marmot. It is a uh, radio made uh, in Canada, in Montreal, uh, by RCA Victor, as you can see right here. So this radio was entirely uh, rebuilt from uh, its original component to newer uh, and safer ones. So I'll just do a quick walkthrough. So we have the on off switch with the volume right here. And we have the tuning switch, which moves, which moves a small arrow right there. Then at the back, there's no cover on these one. Ooh, let's go with the gold mind vision. So right here we have, uh, it's a four tube system radio. So we have the two first right there, one right here and one at the back. Power supply, then the speaker at the back, the tuning and the white wire you see is for the actual light that's right on top. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see right here, I don't know if it's gonna show it's good. Mask it. From, the, from 1942 when it's a 50 watt radio operating between 105 and 125 volt so uh, when I bought when I bought it was an original radio with uh, almost uh, 50 years in the body and more so uh, I had to send all the, uh, the the old varnish down and for that I just used a sandblasting cabinet really easy and after that I used a waterproof finish varnish so gives a really nice uh, smooth finish and I finally had two colors because of that I had a darker right here and a clearer on the side so let's just turn it on and see how it looks like tubes are heating up So, really good sound and a perfectly fine working radio. Um, all the electronic was replaced. The old uh, capacitors made out of card of uh, paper and wax were replaced with uh, newer orange capacitors. Uh, I just followed what's written on them. So, mostly uh, they're measured in microfarad. And uh, then, yeah, I changed the uh, power cord for a newer version since the uh, old ones were made out of uh, fabric and dry rubber after a while. And uh, then I only cleaned the board, never painted it, and replaced two of the tubes. And then inside these, uh, these switch here, I had to clean the contacts because you could hear it each time you turn one of these, you could hear So uh, after that, uh, during World War, so around 1943 when it was produced, uh, glass was really hard to find, well, also expensive and limited. So right here, normally you had a small plastic window to see your uh, uh, your tuning uh, ca uh, your your tuning glass, yeah. And uh, mine was cracked, so I replaced it with actual glass, which gives a much cleaner look. And the metal met metallic bracket around was also sanded inside the sandblaster cabinet, which gave it a really nice little finish, almost like brushed metal. So it really worked the shot. Then I've changed the uh, cloth by the interior. Or originally it was brownish, and I've replaced it with a black one to give it a more classy finish. So the value of a radio like this these day, uh, used uh, on uh, used website you can get about a hundred dollar, and on a professional website where you have actual people looking for these radio, it can go up to about one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollar. So that's it for this uh, nineteen forty two RCA Marmot.